Well, you just heard some questions there about RIM's relevance. More on that now from the CBC's Paul Hunter. Paul's in Washington tonight. Paul. Peter, check this out. It's from 2005, a dinosaur. But you know, back when these first came out, they were like magic. So it's kind of hard to believe that the company that made such magic could seem to be in so much trouble already. There it is, a new one, one of the most sophisticated communications devices in the history of the world, found in the hands of royalty. It was Barack Obama's demand after winning the presidency. Let me keep it. Bling for Bieber and good enough for Gaga, they don't call them crackberries for nothing. So what made these things so popular? Well, for starters, there's that comforting feel and sound of an actual keyboard. That's a huge selling point, but there's more. It's a phone with live email, free instant messaging, internet access, and it's secure. So why is BlackBerry in trouble? We took to the streets of Washington and asked, what do you use? iPhone, um, just because it's easier, point and click. iPhone 4. Android has a lot of apps that you can use, and yeah, that's why I like it. In truth, you can find fans of them all, including, of course, BlackBerry, but even its fans note... Well, I think Grimm has a lot of catching up to do. So sometimes founders tend to fall in love with the inventions that they create. Tech journalist Matt Hartley says that's what happened at RIM. In its ride up and down the markets, it didn't notice the world was changing. Obviously, uh, there are still a lot of people out there that want to use BlackBerry technology uh, to send emails, but there are a lot of other people that are more interested in applications and the websites and all that kind of stuff. And that is something that RIM came to a little bit later than some of the other competitors. But keep in mind, say others, that RIM still has a lot of cash, a history of success, and it's growing in new markets. It ain't over yet, despite the headlines. We always see either this big swing one way or the other way. It's either on top of the world or it's headed for the scrap heap. There's no middle ground. And the truth of the matter is the RIM story right now is someplace in the middle ground. RIM may take heart from the tale of another high-tech company, which, like RIM, was a big player with good products but stumbled and seemed destined to fail, but then it reinvented itself and thrived. Apple. Peter. All right, Paul, thank you. Paul Hunter in Washington.